do that another time. We, as you know, have a poet's corner. They come out swinging. They will sing or read one, two, three, four poems of their own choosing. <laughs> and tonight, we are especially pleased to have Mr. Andrew Ziegler here for his very first time at the Bucktown Review. Please, folks, give a good welcome to a poet who someday will be very well known, Mr. Andrew Ziegler. of just one hug. Indeed, after a while, only the pure stuff will hit the spot, which means that watered down, weak and awkward excuses for hugs, like the sideways scoop and hook hug, the hasty handshake turned thug hug, or the sneak attack behind the back ninja half hug, will no longer fly. They won't get you high. No to satisfy, it's gotta be straight on and pure. And those hugs inject so much love drug, you'll need both arms outstretched to get the same narcotic effect. And I admit, it feels good at first, but finding a dealer at any hour of the night will become an increasingly Herculean effort. Not saying like Zen riddles of one hand clapping will be easier to understand than finding and wrapping yourself same sore arms around a good hug drug dealer. <laughs> well, that's especially if you're like me. And you're looking to soothe your mind at odd hours of the night for fixes between the lines of pages or on the lines of your hand where life is rumored to be written. And I have spent countless hours contemplating the lines in my palm, searching for ways to reshape the patterns and curves that crease across my skin because I'm tired of feeling <clears throat> helpless against life's emotional addiction written across my skin. And I'm tired of feeling attached to frustratingly finite feelings that are fleeting, flaking, futilely failing, falling away, freaking A. I just wanted a hug. <laughs> but now I'm stuck. Scrutinizing the lines in my palm, searching for a way to diminish this addiction, but these lines won't bend. I can't change the patterns of my skin, even though I've tried a thousand times to rewrite these lines, especially when I've lost touch with the hug drug dealers and instead switched to a different source to get my fix, like switching to burning spoons of rage to inject into my veins, or switching to rolling my joints and voice into strict silence where I'll inhale breathlessness and exhale isolation, or like switching to trading in my lips for a loveless kiss, but nothing will bring bliss like a love hug drug. I've tried get clean, but that just makes a mess. So I guess my only steps will lead towards acceptance of my handwritten addiction to this love hug 